This is the second video that we're going to be catching you guys up on the build in general while we're here in South Dakota, Custer State Park. Uh, right now, this video is going to be about the back bed. And what bed, you say? I don't sleep on the floor. <laughs> um, my bed folds out of the wall. So let me show you that really quick and the, uh, the design we have in general, and then we're going to cut back and show you how we built it. It's really simple to bring out. You have two latches here and here, right and left safety latches so it won't open unless you you know fiddle with them this piece folds out we have a cushion inside this cabinet that fits perfectly so when you're dropping this down just put it behind like this drop it to the floor get real low drop this one out like such there we go and then the final piece is just to fold down this little lip over here like that and then you slide the pillows out perfect and then from here you just grab my sleeping bag and my pillow and the bed's easily big enough for two people like this. It's good for rolling around if you ever feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, so this is the design of the bed. It's nice because uh, every edge of the bed besides this little hallway is kind of boxed in, so I kind of have my own private little cubby space. If I want to like feel even more, I don't know, cozy, I could like sit back in this corner, kind of like this, put a pillow back here or something like that. And sometimes when I'm reading, I go like back back here in the corner and it's nice because this is one of the few spots where you get three walls of view. Uh, Ryan's spot up front is the other spot because he's looking out the front. So when I'm laying in bed, I can see out all three of these walls, which at night when the moon's up or the stars are out, it's really nice. And besides that, I have easy access to a wall plug right here for charging my phone, the light switch, I got a little shelf for knickknacks my journal, um, and this amazing aloe plant that brightens up the space. We need a lot more of those. So this is the back swing I was talking about when you don't have the bed in the way. It's actually pretty nice, you know, to read from, uh, or just enjoy the view. And my hammock's big enough that I can pretty much lay completely out, enjoy the view, read a book, drink some coffee, contemplate my life and all the decisions I've made, and uh, enjoy the beautiful day that we have. <laughs> Right now, Ryan and I are just cutting the uh, the pieces for the bed. I'm um, a little covered in sawdust, so if I'm like, I can't see my face, but a lot of sawdust. No, okay, cool. We're just cutting the pieces for the bed. Um, that's the next step that we're doing after we finish those back panels on the bus. Uh, we're starting with the bed because we have everything we need for the bed and we're not waiting on any extra pieces like the front couch and uh, the entire passenger side of the bus. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but big shout out to our friend Jordan who helped us weld earlier. Uh, this is his table saw, and I just want to say thanks, buddy, because I know you're going to be watching this later, and you are saving us so much time in all these cuts. We would not be anywhere near getting where we should be with this build without it, so thank you. It's super helped out. So, the drawings are not pretty by any means, but they're what we got. So, we got each piece over here, and then the whole assembly right here. So, this is all in section. So, we got basically... All the measurements on this one. So Ryan's just getting all the pieces cut now for the bed. Uh, so he's stacking all the ones that are similar. Um, and after this, is going to be putting it together. First piece is this piece. So we're looking at this thing. First off, these two things are attached to the wall. This shelf and then this piece. So this is the wall of the bus to the outside. And then this is the inside of the bus from here over. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing is we're pocketing right into this face into this see that mm -hmm. so it's gonna go like that into that and then we're gonna bracket this and bracket that
Brian and I are about to begin drilling in the hinge for our bed. Um, we kind of didn't get, I mean, like it's a piano hinge, so it should work and it's nice and long, so it'll cover the full piece, which is nice, but it's really not the thickest metal. Um, so we're a little worried about uh, it not working at all. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Smooth. What? I just like lifted it and it was just, like smooth. Really? So I was gonna. Oh. I was gonna say I didn't think it was gonna work at all because it's, that that hinge is so flimsy. Like, look look how thin that metal. I don't know if you can see how thin that metal is. That's like nothing. And each one of these like leaves weighs 20 pounds at the oh, minimum. No. It's like all this three quarter inch plywood. Like that, we're, we weren't messing around with this because we wanted it to be a solid bed. Um, didn't need to be this solid, I guess, but whatever. And uh, just like, wow. So, okay, so can we lay it down without you actually opening it? Like, and then I wanna see you open it. Yeah, because there is supposed to be a hinge like down here. here I'll kind of emulate the first hinge. We'll be like, kind of like this action. And yeah. This is where all the cushions will be stored, so it'll pop up, and there will probably bungee down all the cushions in here, and then lift this up Ooh. for the second. How easy was was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so right. That was like the biggest adrenaline rush I've had. <laughs> That's hilarious. What? It's so easy. That's crazy. Like, I'm kind of blown away by this. You know what I mean though? Like that, like as soon, it's like, this is really balanced. Like this is a really balanced It is, like piece. I can, like with one finger, I can lift the whole thing and it like doesn't torque it all across the whole piece. I don't, at this point it almost sounds like we're just like, this is all staged or something like that, but it's, it really isn't because Ryan and I are like off camera and we're like, we're screwing this in and we're like, dude, this isn't gonna work. We're just wasting our time. <laughs> and like we were just, and Ryan was like, I'm gonna be, if this happens, if this actually works, I'm gonna be like mildly surprised. Or like, well, I don't know. What I said uh, pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised because we were both just like, because I showed you that metal. It's like it's nothing. It's like the thickness of like cardstock. Just to give a little context too, it's like getting close to like 1 a.m. Yes. It might be. I haven't checked my clock in <laughs> since like 11. Yeah, it's pretty and, late for us. <laughs> well, not late for yeah, us. Yeah, it's like it's like 12:40. Yeah. And like so we usually up. yeah we usually get up around seven. So like yeah. If, if this wouldn't have worked, like, we would have went to bed so defeated. Yeah, and then so, probably yeah. not waking up at yeah. 7. Yeah, exactly. So. Or we would have, probably, because we would have had to work harder to do the same thing. Yeah. I mean, we've been working with this, like, 13, 14 hours now. So this, it's really compact, which is why we like this design so much. Uh, I don't think, I mean, Ryan, have you ever seen anything else like this? I think we kind of invented it from scratch, it's it's a play off a few other things. I mean, it's not like, it's not 100% unique, but. It's like a Murphy bed. Oh. Yeah, it's like a triple fold Murphy bed. Um, so like beds folding down from the wall, not unique. Um, I've never seen a triple fold bed from a wall that's only waist height. Uh, that seems somewhat unique, but. Um, well, I've seen like Murphy beds this size, but they're long ways. This one's folding. Yeah. Like from head to toe. Yeah, and side, side to side. side. Yeah. And it's not like a single person like that would normally be. So we just got the uh, the bed in place for where it's going to be. Uh, it's not really attached like it's going to be because we st we're still missing a couple pieces and it'll eventually be, you know, like screwed into the walls. But uh, as far as like where it is and how it works, it's done. So most people when they're doing beds, they mount it to just below the window, go all the way across. 
it's stationary, and then you have all the storage beneath. So that's the benefit of doing it that way. So the reason why we ended up designing the back space like this, instead of just having a bed that goes straight across the back and is stationary like most people do, we wanted a more flexible space since we have a shorter bus. Um, we figured that we might be going from location to location with kayaks or bikes and not want to have to put them up on the roof rack, uh, as well as just make the space feel bigger when you're not using the bed. If this was here permanently, um, the bus would be cut into almost a third as far as walkable space. Now with this bed that folds up, you can use the back door no problem. The other cool thing is, is these hooks up top I can hang my hammock from and it becomes a seat and then I can kind of just swing from this back, this back door. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more of the build, we're going to be finishing it up in the next video or two. And if you're looking forward to our travel videos, keep tuning in because we're going to be getting those uh, in the next couple videos. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, uh, where we're the most up-to-date on the build. And see you around soon.